Hey guys, so today I'm gonna go ahead and start to do my benchmarking test on my tablets. So we're gonna go ahead and start off pretty slow here with the N22 benchmark test on my Nexus 7 and on my Galaxy Note 10.1. Uh, I don't have anything else open up running in the background. And if we go ahead and check out the current Android version that we're using on both, uh, you know, so so people don't complain. Let's see here, let's go to the, let's see, there we go. Let's go ahead and go to settings on both, on both. Let's see here, there we go. About tablets, about it. You can see I'm running version Android 4.4 on this boy, while I'm running Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean on this one. And we don't have, I'm pretty sure we don't have any later, you know, update here. There we go. I'm pretty sure we don't have the Galaxy 4.1 Jelly Bean update to the Galaxy 10.1. But I've seen that it's like available uh, on IFA. There we go, no updates available. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this benchmark test. So I'm gonna go ahead and close settings on both and then open it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the testing. Let's go, uh, and let's see, start tests. Um, verify score by network time. There we go, there we go, go. So I'm not sure how long time this will take, but it will take a few minutes probably. How does it do? 22%. Uh, I can say one thing about the CPU. This one should win uh, over that because it's uh, the LA, the Exynos 4412, the same as in the Galaxy S3, and that should be better than the Vita Tegra 3. And Tegra 3, of course, on the Google Nexus 7 quad core one, uh, it got unveiled a few, it got unveiled already in 2011. And also, I mean, like, it, it is a price difference. I mean, I paid this, like, 300 bucks for this boy, maybe a little bit more, 310, 320, while I paid maybe, how much was it with this one? Maybe at least five, maybe even the double, you know, 600 bucks at least for this boy. So, of course, you know, you have to consider that. It's doing some random tests over here. We have some Android boys all over the place. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah boy, he be fighting there. Uh so testing SD card right speed. Yes, yes, yes. This one is not starting the SD card, it's not that far behind. I mean both are quad core, so both should perform pretty well. There we go. Okay, so we got the score here. It didn't take that long at all, I felt like, uh, compared to like when I did this test with the Optimus 4X and, uh, you know, smartphones. So we got a total score of 12,434 on the Galaxy Note 10.1 in N22. 
There we go, and we got a score of 10,860. Pretty good, I gotta say. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Tanger 3, you shouldn't play with that. And I've seen people, you know, oh, clock, this is crazy. Uh, if you go ahead and check the CPU, of course, that's 6,000 points, 7,000 points here. So the CPU is about far. Uh, the GPU is very interesting, though. Uh, the GPU, ah, oh, what kind of GPU is it using? Uh, I know Tiger 3 should be using. I'm just gonna go ahead pretty quick. Uh, Google Nexus 7, or I mean, Asus Google Nexus 7. It's pretty weird. Some people call it Asus Google Nexus 7, but I don't know. Yeah, the ULP GeForce one, you shouldn't play with that, it's a pretty good one. Versus like the Mali 400, uh, I'm pretty sure, it must be the Mali 400 on the Note 10.1. Let's see here, the two variants of the Note 10.1. Yeah, the Mali 400 MP, I'm not sure if it's overclocked as with the Galaxy S3, because you do know the Galaxy S2 also had the Mali 400 MP. Uh, but the thing with the Galaxy S3 is that it had it overclocked 50% and it was like a new chipset, so they managed to boost up the graphics like double. Uh, so 1544, and it was just a little bit behind on the Galaxy S3, uh, or on the Galaxy 10 with one, sorry. Uh, the RAM is also pretty interesting. It's a little bit more, 2600 versus 2100 uh, on this boy. Uh, and then the IO, I'm not sure what that is, but the, this uh, Tiger 3 boy won over there. Let's go ahead and check out if we can if we can see how much RAM. Let's see, RAM. Okay, interesting. When we hold it down like this on this uh, device, we can see some other things. I'm not quite sure how you do see the RAM uh, on this boy. Storage apps. No, I'm not quite sure how you do it. You wait a sec. 679 megabyte. Oh, wait a sec. That's only the internal storage. Maybe if you hold it in like this. No, I have no idea how you go ahead and do that on this boy. Uh, but uh, the Galaxy Note 10 with one won, won in the overall test there, uh, mostly because of the CPU. Uh, so, but it was also much better than the RAM. So something that you might want to know if you want to pick up them. I uh, will probably have links down below if you want to check them out. You might also want to go ahead and check out the new Kindle Fire HD if you are looking for planning to buy a tablet. And if you now want to buy a tablet, maybe you should wait until the next month when we could see an iPad mini and see what Apple's gonna do. Are they gonna go crazy, banana boys, like 200 bucks for an iPad? I'm not sure, but we'll just have to wait and find out. Yes, peace out.